At the London 2012 Olympic Games, our athletes were some of the best equipped and physically prepared in the world. Take for example in cycling, where they developed muscle warming trousers to help athletes produce more power at the start of a sprint race. As physiologists, we know that a warmer muscle produces more force than a cooler muscle. And so REIS physiologists based in cycling were integral in the development, the testing and trialling, and eventually the integration of those heated trousers into race day preparation. And so we knew that when the Olympic final came, our athletes were in the best shape to deliver in the race. Our aim as physiologists working in the high performance environment is ultimately to improve physical performance. And we do this by providing coaches with robust data and information that allows them to work with their athletes with objectivity and individuality. As physiologists, we aim to understand the human being as an integrated, complex network of biological systems. And as sports physiologists, we aim to understand which components of those networks and systems need to be optimised so that an athlete can produce a superior performance in their specific events. Take, for example, endurance runners. They need big engines, that's their aerobic capacity, and they need really, really good movement efficiency. Or a sprint cyclist, for example, needs to be able to produce force really quickly. And those are the physiological determinants of success in their events. So an EIS physiologist working with a sport would first of all have to understand the physiological determinants of success in that sport and the athletic events which sit within it. As well as a programme of profiling and monitoring, our athletes also can quantify training in order to optimise rest and recovery. They also deliver and develop strategies that are bespoke and optimised around interventions like altitude. That's an intervention that's widely used by endurance athletes. And they're also integral in the development of strategies on the day of performance, such as the muscle warming trousers. So we know that when an athlete gets to the start line, they are at the peak of physical condition and readiness. The EIS physiology team work across a number of Olympic and Paralympic sports out of three high performance centres, each equipped with world-class physiology laboratory facilities. We also have a really vibrant research culture within the team so that we can ask real performance questions and push the boundaries of our knowledge of the elite performer. So ultimately, when a sport invests in an EIS physiologist, through that one practitioner, they have access to decades of experience and cutting-edge information that sits within our physiology team.